What's up, everybody? It's Jamel Gibbs. Welcome to another video. Listen, I'm just getting back into town, and I promised my man uh, that I was gonna take a look at a property that he got up for sale. To me, this is gonna be a great buy and hold property. So we're gonna walk through the property right now. Afterwards, we'll uh, talk a little bit about the property to see if it's a good fit for my real estate portfolio or not. So let's jump right into it. First and foremost, we're looking at the kitchen right now. And uh, obviously I would have to, you know, based off of the size of this kitchen right here, we got one section of cabinets. Um, well, two sections of cabinets really. I would probably gut this whole thing out, create an island right here which is gonna create more, kind of the way it's set up right now. Uh, you got an open floor plan feel into the living room. I would put a new cabinet right here uh, and a whole new cabinet section right there. We could probably get this kitchen done for about 1500 to $2,000 all in. So uh, we can see we, we need a new hot water heater right here. If it was a tall one, we're probably looking at about 750. Um, but we could definitely get this in installed for probably about five to six, maybe $700. Let's move into the next room. So even in this room right here, we got kind of that open floor plan feel. I would actually open this section up right here to create more of a, I would open this up right here to create more of an open floor plan, right? Um, we can even extend it out a little bit because I noticed that the refrigerator is not in the kitchen. All right, so we got to create some space in that kitchen for the refrigerator. And this seems to be more of a dining room type of area, or maybe a breakfast type of area. Uh, that's something that we would have to figure out as we're, you know, doing our, before we do our remodel on this potential rental property. One thing I did notice is the floor down here is dipping a little bit. So, and it's kind of soft right here. So. That's telling me that there could be some water damage underneath that property. And if you notice, there's a there's some water stains down stains down there as well. So we might have to repair that floor. Um, hopefully there aren't any foundation issues down there because of it. But that's something that we could check out once I bring my contractor through as well. Let's go on to the next room. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is behind these walls, once you open these up, expect all kinds of stuff, right? You could expect bugs, you could expect uh, termites, you could expect any and everything. You don't know what's behind those walls. So when you take that paneling down, you're kind of opening up a can of worms, but this paneling definitely needs to come down in order to modify this house, make, give it more of a, a modern look. You don't really want to be renting a house or even painting over, you could paint over panels. We've done that in the past, never worked out for me. Uh, I would rather rip it all down and then sheetrock everything. So just to put sheetrock in this entire room, we're probably looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of probably looking at about a thousand, maybe $1,500 just to sheetrock this room right here um, in order to, to really modify and modernize this particular room. Now, this seems to be like the living room right here. You got the fireplace. Um, this fireplace is sticking out a little too much but honestly it'll be too much work to try to remove this uh for for rental property purposes so i probably wouldn't even uh i will probably paint this entire fireplace and leave it the way it is just give it more of a uh, a spruce up rather than trying to uh, uh shorten the brick or removing the brick from the floor and things like that just too much work too much labor and too much cash involved in trying to, to, to fix the issue when you could just dress it up and it could fit well with the house, you can make it uh, look more modern. Uh, I see stains up here. This is more water stains. Um, so I'm not sure if this is from a toilet bowl or I'm not sure. That's, I gotta see what's above this right here in order to be able to tell. But this is your basic room. This is a carpet, carpet and paint. I wouldn't even carpet these floors, I would just, I would go over them because these are solid wood floors. Those floors over there are not wood. Um, one good tip that you want to keep in mind, you don't really want to have multiple types of floors in the house. 
So I see what the, the, the owner of this property did. They, uh, they tried to match the wood floors that you see down there uh, with, the, with these laminate floors. But you can tell the difference in the two floors. These floors, these laminate floors are cheap. The wood floors are not, right? So what, what I would do is, in, in that case, in order to fix it, is add a dark colored carpet if I'm gonna rent the property and create some symmetry throughout the property uh, to give it that modern look and to eliminate the, uh, the feel of it being uh, a, a cheap home. Right now, that room is like, that's probably like a $500 fix. To be honest, just to paint this room, carpet, maybe put up a new closet door. I would, I would put up a new sliding closet door. So maybe $750 in that room right there. And uh, we could go into the room over there. I, I, I didn't even uh, see this room over here. Let's go into this room over here. And this is the same situation, pretty much. Right, so you got carpet and paint in this room, new closet door. Uh, uh, one trick to really spruce up your rehabs when you're doing these properties, put new doors throughout the entire place. Put new door handles, put new hinges, right? So rather than keeping these gold doorknobs, I'm gonna put new, uh, new uh, nickel plated handles or you can get those, those dark colored uh, handles. You can do the same thing with the hinges that goes behind the door. And you can also do the same thing with the closet doors, but new doors, new hinges, new uh, new knobs, all of that stuff matters when it comes to presenting a house in a way that it's gonna, uh, it's gonna bring you top dollar for your, for your rental properties or even your rehabs. Make the house look more modern and you will get modern day prices, all right? We got a bathroom over here. I will put a new mirror. New vanity, I will rip all this out, put new sheetrock. I wouldn't, I would, I would just epoxy this tub. This is a good tub. I would just put new fixtures on the tub and put a new uh, surround in the tub as well. So uh, with all of that, new toilet bowl you could buy for hundred bucks and Home Depot to Lowe's with the dual flush on the top. You can put a new vanity in here for less than $500. I will go to some type of thrift shop and get a real nice mirror and put the mirror right here. I would uh, keep this right here, because this is actually pretty solid, right? Uh, but everything else, I would change out and leave the tub, epoxy the tub, even though the epoxy comes off over time, you don't necessarily need to change out that tub uh, in order to, to really be able to spruce this place up. And then do redo the floors. I would actually tile those floors up and make it look really nice. So we're probably looking at about 1500 to $2,000 in that bathroom to make it look really good. So we walk through one, two, two bedrooms. There's another bedroom over here. No, this is actually the living room. There's, a, there's a, some space upstairs. We got the bathroom down here. Let's go see what's upstairs. Whew. Now listen, up here, it's like a million degrees. You could literally feel the heat when you come up, right? So that tells me that there's not uh, the insulation in these walls isn't the greatest so when we rip all of this out we might have to insulate the uh the entire upstairs which can get relatively expensive all right but uh with that being said you do have an air conditioner up here right obviously heat rises so um there may not be an insulation issue but this is a telltale sign when it's a little too hot up here there's a telltale sign that uh, we might have some insulation issues. I'm not saying that there is, but I need to verify that. I'm already sweating and, and we just got up here. So this is the basic room. You know I mean, we got the window units. This is not a central air uh, uh, type of property. So that's something that we might have to add in uh, to get top dollar as well. This is another room, same situation. I will create a column around this and make another bedroom out of this so because you got a closet right here so we got one two three four four bedrooms one bath in this property i'm willing to bet you know if this property was fixed up we could probably get somewhere be between eight and a thousand dollars a month just based off of what this property looks like and what i know we could actually do with it one thing i just noticed 
there are vents built into the wall. So that's, that's telling me that there's some type of forced air in this place. So there is a thermostat here. So there has to be some type of central air. Yep, because I'm, I'm looking at it right on the floor. So there is some type of central air and there's a return vent right here. So there is some type of central air built into the house, but it's just not upstairs. And that's what we have to do. So the good thing is, it's not gonna cost a lot of money, uh, as much money to bring that central air upstairs and to be able to tap in to the upstairs. We just have to bring the vents up there as well. So that's it for the inside. I wanna walk outside as well, get a look at it, and then um, look for certain things. I'll show you what I'm looking for as we as we walk outside, let's, let's go. All right, y'all, so look, I'm looking at the roof. Um, this roof is definitely in need of replacement. Um, I could tell because there's shingles that's lifted up on the roof. Could I get away with a patch job? Yes, but you want to do things the right way, especially when you're looking to keep the property long term or you're looking to sell the property to somebody else. So I will redo that roof up there. Um, you can see the shingles are kind of lifting a little bit. Uh, so that's one thing that we have to worry about. I would definitely replace the front door, make it more presentable. And I like the trees and everything like that. So we'll probably prune these trees up and, and, and make it look good. But other than that, a good pressure washing, um, replace some of the some of the uh, siding that has holes in it. Um, and, and out here will look fantastic. As you can see, it's pretty clean out here. Uh, pretty well maintained. Not a lot to, to do out here. We got a extra storage room back here that may be a garage as well uh, which is actually a plus uh, we got a nice little uh, deck back here we could change out the doors but um this is a nice little private yard area that whoever moves into this property can enjoy um, we also have extra storage space right there but overall this is a good property I think we could do something with it I just got to run the numbers to see if it's gonna be the great deal that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go inside, talk, talk to my man who's uh, wholesaling his property, and then we'll take it from there. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 80K, that's what, the, that's what the comparables were. It's about 80. Yeah, so I was right in the ballpark, 80 to 100. The one that sold for 137, basically I'm dripping sweat, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's nice and cool right here, man. So let's just, let's just say 80K, right? 0.7, I'm gonna need to put in, is there a mortgage on this? All right, um, 25,000 in, in work. I'm sure you could do better than this, man, but this is where I'm at right now. And I'm gonna tell you how I came up with those numbers. Just because you're a wholesaler, you know what I mean? And, and I know you, you're about to have a couple hundred thousand dollar months. So oh, based off of $80,000, I like to buy with 30% equity in it. So I based my numbers at 0.7. That brought me down to $56,000. And I subtract my repairs, which I, I'm estimating at around 25,000 bucks. So I'm at $31,000 offer. Yeah, that's where I'm at. If you're willing to do some type of seller finance, I can pay you what you ask. That's up to you. I can give you like a few thousand or 10,000 or whatever down and then make payments for for a certain period of time. I mean, that's something that we could discuss. It don't have to be a long time, but you know, um, just consider it. You don't have to give me an answer now. So I made an offer, a uh, cash offer. I also made a creative offer. A uh, wholesaler mentioned that he had somebody else who offered more money already, which is cool, you know what I mean? But again, especially right now, you know, a lot of people are fighting over deals. Don't ever, ever, ever make a decision to invest into a property based off of emotion. Just because somebody offered more money doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be a great deal for you. So listen, we walked through the property. Hopefully we can make this deal happen. If not, it's okay. I'm sure uh, we're gonna be able to uh, talk about some future deals. Uh, but like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you would have paid for this house. And then we'll see you on the next one. Peace.